And welcome back, Gamer Nation. Stephen Thomas here with another episode of FIFA 22. We are approaching the end of December, and the transfer window will open after this episode. So after this episode, I'll give you all a few, few more days in between than I normally do for these episodes, and let you all leave comments below on what you think we need to look for and everything like that. I think we're going to go ahead and play all four of these games today, and it'll be kind of an extended length episode since I'm going to be moving on. You know, uh, or not moving on, but delaying the next episode coming out so I can get your all's feedback for what we do during January where the transfer window is open and it's all weekend games. And it kind of looks like that in the rest of the way. So that's kind of what we're looking at. We should also today get to a youth outtake and I'll look at those so that we can have something to look at. But right now we are getting ready to play a match game against Crawley Town and it is a league game and we do need to win here. They are a little down below us. They are 16th. We should come away with points. I'm hoping. But with that said, if you are enjoying this episode and this series, make sure to hit the like button down below and leave me a comment about it. But with that said, let's go ahead and get into the match. All right, they're rocking a 4-4-2. Gallagher, Dallison, Lynch, and Frank come in the back. Morrison goal. Frost, Hissenthaler, Grego Cox, and Powell in midfield. Appia and Nadesson. Up there. Red versus green. Let's go. All right, let's get started. We're on the road today. We're at Town Park. We'll see if we can get something going. I'm very hopeful. Collier looking. Collier trying to find some window. James Jago. And Jego tries to go low on him, and the goalkeeper saves it, and we're going to skedaddle on it. And we're going to knock that out, but I think it's going to be a goal kick. No, we get a corner out of this. Oh, and Forsyth, he, he just went a little too hard at it off a couple of headers. It was in the air. He had a chance. It, it looked on target. He just put too much on it. I'm going to play this up. Frost. We'll intercept that. Reed's got it. We're going to send this forward ahead. Cone. I think he's going to lose that. He does. And they go no, nutmeg him. How in the world did he come up with that? We'll force the goalkeeper to send that out. Once again, we've got Collier here. And Collier's going to take a shot, but Morris will take that easily. Collier took it off the wrong foot. And 22 minutes in, we are putting pressure on him. Lua. I cannot tell who hit that one out. Is it a corner to them? I believe so. And this is our first attempt on the game. But Collier is there. Gallagher will collect it. And work it in. And that is right to Harvey, and Harvey will block that one. But another corner to them, and all of a sudden they flip the script. And they're putting the pressure on us. That would come in like a bullet. Luckily, right at Harvey. We'll send that one out. And Lane's got it. And what a play! What a cross to Varga! And Varga knocks himself out, and we'll take it a 1-0 lead here against Crawley Town. And that was like a stop-still play, and that's why we put him out there for the injured man. And he's just there, and oh, they got crossed up. And then the goalkeeper just couldn't react, and Varga puts it in. And that is a 1-0 lead there. It was right at the keeper. He just, he was kind of off kilter, and it goes in 1-0. Sir Francis Drake FC leads. Lots of room here. And it's just blocked. But I think they're going to get a corner from it. And that was way too close. Harvey. What a throw on that one. What a dive and what a throw of his arm just to get it. Let's see if we can clear this one out and try to go into halftime. Up one. And that's going to go out. And the ref will blow his whistle and we'll go to halftime. 1-0. Drake's winning. 
Start of the second half here. We'll see if we can continue where we left off. The second half is underway. Push here. They're gonna. They're immediately going for it. How cutting in? And Forsyth just gonna knock that out. They'll take another corner. This is their third or fourth fourth corner, I believe, of the game. So I'm not liking these chances we're giving them. And that's gonna go out of bounds. Goal kicked us. Sam will intercept that one. We're gonna play this one, and we got a man moving. Here comes Varga again. Varga! Oh, he just missed. Oh, it was just wide. Good effort, though. He just aimed too far in. Interception here. And we got a man. And here comes Cone and Cone. And Morris is going to knock that out. And we're trying to get to it. And Morris finally comes up and gets it. And oh, my God. There's so much action in the box today. Payne moving it up. Payne the pal. They play it over the top, and this is dangerous. Harvey, I don't know what Harvey is doing. Forsyth's going to come out and hit that. And they're still got possession of the ball here. They play it in, and finally Harvey goes up and gets the ball. My Lord, I have no idea what he's doing right now. Oh, my God. Cone just taken down big time. He gets back up. We'll play this out. There's no rush. And Cone's got to get to that, and it's going to be hit back out. And we're still trying to keep it. And we will. Reed working it in. Wait looking. Plays it outside lane. We'll cross this over. And oh, Varga charged up just a little too much. Oh, the pressure was there. We're playing good. We're just not. That was a lot closer than I thought. Hmm. Six minutes to go. Struggling to keep the we'll ball. play this one. This could finish it. Oh, and coin. We still got the ball. Great possession by us today. And it might be. Oh, and they're going to call offside on that, but the clock's going to run a little bit. And coin just not making good decisions today. He's been so close. And that was that was really close. I don't even want to show it. Actually, I hit, accidentally hit the button. We'll cut that. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. And that was a bad pass. That was not who I wanted that to go to. We're in extra time. Well, these fans are right behind the team here. Can they get the They're trying for one last push. We need to get the ball. There's still time for them to level it. We don't want them to equalize it here. And we got it, but we give it right back to them. It might be on for them. And that is blocked, and we try to clear it. And it is out of bounds. And oh my god, six minutes of extra time when there's only supposed to be three. Finally, the ref blows his whistle, and we'll take a 1 0 win. Just way too much drama there at the end. We controlled that whole game, and for some reason, the referees just give them so much time, but we'll take the three points. All right, second match of the episode. We are taking on Lincoln City in the replay. 4-3-3 for them. Bramble Moore, Monsma, Ioma, and Griffiths in goal. Bridcut, Bishop, and McGandles. Randles in the middle. Scully, Hopper, and Forini. Only changes we have, we have Pap out at right wing. Wait in in midfield. And we'll probably have to go to an early change in left back is Devers is, or Devries is very tired. Winning the ball back. What can they do from here? And that's a good pass. And Varga, oh, he almost put it in the slot. And the keeper with an amazing save will take the corner. But Varga, what a shot there. And the keeper just got his foot into it. And here's Cone. And he's going to put the goal on the board. And we may shock the city. Coin puts us on the board, whatever his last name is. I'll never get it right because I programmed myself to say the wrong word. But the retaliation off the corner gives us the room, gives us the space. They just left us wet open, and he goes low pocket. And we lead 1-0 here early. 
And the crowd going crazy. Drake's one. Lincoln's it nil. We'll go out to the side. Scully looking. The Randalls. In the bird, bird cut. Good defense. Good defense. Good plays. Good move. And Harvey with a block. He'll get a corner out of that. They're slowly building up here, and it almost paid off, but Harvey. Harvey was Johnny on the spot with that one. Nice dive. We'll play this one forward. Oh, and he's going to take Kalua down. And that's a yellow card. Have a word, ref indeed. Brommel, their star player, gets an early yellow. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. And that, that one is a breakaway. That should have been a red card. He should have went back pocket. So Pat puts this one up. Comes back. And not really a good effort. And the ref will blow his whistle. We'll go to the locker room up 1-0. And I am very excited about this. I did not think this was possible after that first match. But Coin has shocked the nation. Cold weather and all. Uh-oh, Bramble's got a breakthrough here. Bramble with lots of space. Bramble pushing in. Bramble! Oh! The breeze pushes it out. We got to clear that. Forsyth hits it. Bramble almost making the play of the game. And it's still live. They're still pushing. They'll push it around. The danger definitely here, still here. And they get a little space, and Harvey will get the block. Great ball movement by them. And all of a sudden, Lincoln City has woke up. A couple of substitutions for us. Midfielder in there, defensive change. And then we're going to bring Bentley in for Forsyth just to get some more uh, fresh legs back. we got six minutes. Try to close this game out. I'm not sure what their back man's trying to do there. And they're going to kick it wide. And that's the final whistle. And we're going to get another win in the cup. Oh. Oh, my Lord. What a... I am... I am on edge. I cannot believe we just pulled that off. Coming in here and upsetting Lincoln City on the road. We'll take it. Our team is wore out, though. We've got a league game coming up, which we do. We're in trouble. All right, match against Scunthorpe United here. 4 one 2 one 2 narrow for them. O'Malley, Davis, Onorize, and Millen. Backline, Bilson in goal. Uh, Hippolyte, Hallam, Pugh, probably Puh, and Perry. And then Scrimshaw, Loft, and Hallam up front. They look like they're uh, ready to go. They are fourth on the table, so they're a couple spots ahead of us. A win against them would really be good. And I keep saying that about everybody. We do have them at home. Remember, it's always on the flip side. We've had a lot of home matches here against some of these good clubs. We'll have to go to their place in the second half of the season. Going to push this one forward. Collier trying to get to Collier brought down. And no call there. They got a little space on the side here. Loft has to hold up. What can they do from here? And they're in, and that is going to bounce off the post. And Scunthorpe takes an early 1-0 lead. Such a lucky shot, but a lucky shot counts just as bad as much as a good one. Oh, we're struggling against these teams at the top. It was great movement. We were a little out of position. Bentley was there. Oh, that was just such a pure shot. There's nothing you could do. Oh, he got it off the bounce. That's beautiful. I think his hand was there, but the game was like, nope. One nil to Scundorp. Oh, why, why would the pass go there? It's a little bit of time here to attack. He's going forward well here. Oh, just a terrible touch by Waite. 
Oh, we could have had something there. I don't think we're going to have time, and we don't. Oh, the guy was running, and Coin just couldn't put, make the pass. He put too much on it. We're down 1 0 going into half. I know we could score on him. We just got to get up there. It's Gunthorpe leading, though. Just can't control it. Too much, too much speed. Too much speed. Not enough control because I'm just in a hurry. I'm in a hurry to get things done. Oh, I rush and rush until life that goes on. Uh, that's totally the wrong lyrics. And that pass could be troublesome. And they're going to get through, and Harvey, don't let that go out. Stop that. Can they find the equalizer here? Honestly, don't know what more you can ask for. We're going to go for some substitutions. We're going to bring Pap in for Collier. Oh, we definitely need this one. Here's Varg on the run. And Pap takes the shot, and it's blocked by the keeper. We need this. Another corner coming up. It wasn't a powerful strike, but it was a strike. Oh, don't lose this. Well, a good tackle. Wait gets it, and he's going to lose it, isn't he? He's going to lose possession. Everything we've done today, we've lost. Breaking at pace. And with 10 minutes left, they're going to take on down the field. Have Bentley in tow. Row. Tons of space to work with here. Well, pass after pass. They messed it up, and then Jago gives it right back to him. Jago gets it again, and Jago gives it right back to him. Could somebody please get the ball and for the love of St. Pete, not give it to him? Oh, my Lord. This is the most embarrassing thing. Finally. Oh, three minutes. attacking position but they've got to do something positive quickly well, oh and Varga takes a shot and he misses and it's just the like ah there's just so many fouls going on and we're not getting any calls and I think we're going to drop this one extra time unfortunately and that's unfortunate yep that's going to be it the final not what the oh, we're teetering on such the bottom. I mean, we're not even to the halfway point of the season, and I'm freaking out. But these games at home, we got to win them, or at least get draws, and we're just not doing it. So going into the Bauro game, they are fourth, and we are down to ninth. One point out of the playoffs, and four points out of everything. So it's still tight. But Barrow is fourth in the league, and we need a big win against them. We've got to get a win. I think we're on the road on this one. Barrow with the 5-3-2. Bro, Grayson, Ellis, Jones, and Browns in the back. Lilies in goal. Gotts, Banks, and White. Zanzala and Gordon playing. Back to Brown. Nice block. And Harvey, good Lord, I don't know what he just tried to do, but it was dangerous. We just give the ball away in a very dangerous zone. Kalua saves the day. And that's going to be a goal for Coin. That's what I'm talking about. The hustle on one end pays off on the back end. We force the throw in on our side, and we take control of the final third, and we're going to go up one on Barrow. And we need a win against the top-tier team in our league. This great space, and then he crosses him up right across the bow. Boom. Point on the board. Here they were talking about their striker being hot. So can ours. He could be hot as well. Hotter even, like the sun at night. Oh, and Pat does a great job at that. Pat trying to keep it. Oh, we just give it right back. Collier just, and that's what I was saying earlier in the game. Collier is good on the breakaway. He is just so bad on passing. 
Stewart. It's going to keep and that one in. I'm going to put this one up. Well, I think they've been the better side in this first There's a cross, but nobody's home. Two minutes till half. We'll see what they're going to do here. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Dot's looking to play it. They'll turn it over. And the ref's going to blow his whistle. We're going to take a 1-0 lead into halftime. Oh, my God. The end of this first half of the season. It's got so much going on right now. But Boyne has us in the lead. Hapson's out ahead to Kalua. Kalua looking. Uh, that's not who I wanted to pass it to. It wouldn't have mattered. He was so offsides. But a yellow card to Zenzala for the tackle earlier. And I, I, I didn't get to see it. It was off screen. Was that Jago again getting hit? Of course, <laughs> the man is not going to have legs by the time he turns 40. I think he's onside. And Pap, oh my God, I know he's young, but come on. You didn't even have a guy on you. Oh, you're trying to get to it. And he's, oh, the goalkeeper touched it. It's still loose. And Norris shots. Oh, that should have been a handball. The ref does not call it. Six to play. Bring some subs in just to waste some time here. I will take as many 1-0 wins as we can get. If they're going to sit back here and dribble it, not try to attack. I will take that any day of the week. They turn it over. And we couldn't do anything with it. I think Vargas just spent. And the ref's going to blow his whistle. And what a defensive struggle that was. Harvey with some amazing saves, and we're going to get the hit the halfway point on a high note. Oh, we will go into the transfer window not doing so bad. Coin giving us the goal we needed, and we're going to have a lot to look at. I'm really interested to see what our youth intake looks like and make some decisions on some of the other guys in the youth intake. All right, so now we're going to get the nuts and bolts of everything. Our bench at this point of the season. That's it. We have Norrison, Bentley, and Mantikas that can come in defensively. I've not used Pratt at all. Collier and Pat come in offensively. We sold off one of our other goalkeepers, so we're down to two of those. Bowman is out. And Fallon has been getting offers, and Pratt is not really good. So we can always reach into the youth tank, but we also need to keep in consideration that some of these players, as you can see our starters up there in their rankings, some of these players' contracts are running out. So remember what I said earlier, Harvey, Forsyth, Norris, Waite, Reed, Bowman, and Fallon. Fallon I'm not so worried about. Harvey, no, I Forsyth, you. and Norris play, Waite plays, and Reed plays. Bowman is injured. As bad as I hate to say, let his contract go. That may be something that we do. But we need to think about these people and whether they want to resign them or not. Uh, that is something that is going to have to come up when we think about making signings is we'll have to keep the money to afford them. So looking at the list, but Norris, I could see signing him. We need him as a backup to DeVries. Uh, that is something. Or let him go. Wait at 60. He's iffy right now because we still need bodies in midfield. That same goes for Reed. I think Reed is definitely worth re-signing for right now for our team. Bowman, again, I don't know what to do with him since he's injured. He's out for seven months, six months at this point. So next season, Fallon, not really a big thing. So I think the two biggest names to worry about are Reed and Norris. And then maybe on wait, we wait. Because I know we got some uh, youth talent coming in, and if they're close to 60, there's no need to re-sign him on a contract where we could just call them up. 
So yeah, Harvey, a lot of you were saying he's good, but is he worth signing for the future good? And that's something we got to keep in mind ourselves. All right, again, long episode. Let's check out the youth squad summary. All right, Harley Hansen from England has brought us a number of players. We got Luke Lord, what a name. 67 to 91, 56 to 70 something. 74 to 94. Okay, okay. Harley, have you done something good for us, buddy? Oh, okay. I like Luke Lord. He's only 15 and valued at 275. Gonna sign him. Nathan Dennis. I'm not expecting a lot from him. 275 as well. Okay, I'll bring him in. Reese Wyatt. That potential 74 to 94 looks really good. Oh, Reese Wyatt. 425. Three bangers from Harley. We'll bring them all on board. We'll see what we got. All right. Out of Nigeria. Low potentials on these. This one could be okay. Paul Adayami. Let's see what Austin Nwenko. 130. Probably not going to amount to anything. And Paul. What do we got? 300,000. I'll bring him on. He's 16. We'll see what he's got. And then the final guy, we've got one person. He's not finding a lot in Colombia. The potential looks pretty low on Daniel Lorenzo. 150, yeah, he's just not doing too well. Not very excited about what we're finding in Colombia right now, to be honest with you. Um, and I know we've got low grade sats, but you know, it is what it is. And we're looking for specific people. So let's go check a look at uh, what those players are that we just brought on board. 15 at 51 is not bad for Jensen Leonard. All right, Paul Ediyeme out of Nigeria, 53 at 16, not bad. He's got some good speed. He is a left back. Oh, my God, he could play the whole back line. That is amazing. Maybe uh, automatically develop him as, hmm, his pace is up there, but his passing and shooting is pretty bad. Maybe we work on his defending. Uh, right backs are hard to come by. Uh, getting somebody in there for Kalua, who is 61 overall, or 62 now, would not be bad. I don't think I want to pick his position yet. I think we just work on actually growing him. Reese Wyatt, 15 years old. He's already 53. This guy's going to be good, or he's going to make us a lot of money. His stats are okay. He's 15. We're going to give him time to see what his potential does. He's a right wing back, and I will definitely train his defenses. We'll make him, his defending and physical is really up there. I think I will make him an inverted wing back or maybe attacking. His passing isn't bad. Let's train him as an attacking wing back. I think Reese could turn out to be really good. Nathan Dennis, 1757. He could play up front. This could be another guy that maybe we turn into a wing. He's got 71 acceleration. His speed is kind of, mm, but maybe if we put him on a development, we can make him a winger. Uh, attacking midfielder is kind of what I was thinking because his shooting is not that good. But if we can get his passing to work, I think that's something. So Nathan could come out on top as well. And then Luke Lord. <sighs> I don't know. His potential is. We'll keep him for a while. He's a striker, but his shooting is 37. How? How can he be a striker at that? We'll train him as a poacher, try to get those strike, those uh, shooting stats up, but pace and dribbling, he's almost like a uh, false nine that maybe he could distribute the ball instead of uh, doing that. So we got a big youth. At the end of the transfer, we may cut some of these people, especially these 18-year-olds that are probably ready to come up. Might have to bring Carl Lehman up. He's probably going to be ready to go, and then we'll have to see. But that is our Youth Academy right now. So some good names, I think, that can come up and be really good. We'll just have to see. So that puts us in January, and you can see the calendar here. So next episode, which is going to be a little bit ways from now, I'll let you all put your input on what we need to target, who we need to sign, who we need to re-sign and see what you all say, and then we'll get started in January through the transfer window. We've got two good episodes lined up. We've got some league games coming up, Hardopool, and then uh, I think that's Leighton Orient. 
And then we've got Blackburn Rovers in the cup, which is kind of scary. And then three more league games on the backside of January. I'm very excited to see what happens. I'm not excited that our bench is very weak right now. We definitely need to send our scouts out and try to look for some players to set the bench. We need bodies. As we saw, it's really hard right now for us to really cycle people in and out because we just don't have them. And while January looks good right now, that could change at the drop of a hat. Uh, these games let go from like here to here. Not a lot of rest time. So something to keep in mind. This episode's went on way too long. So go ahead and smash that like button below. Let me know what you think. I need to hear some good feedback from you all. Those of you who are much smarter at the game than I am. And as always, thanks for watching. God bless. And don't forget to make good decisions. Special thanks to these February Patreon supporters. If they were hot glass, I'd blow them until they turned into a vase. Party Commissar, Kiana Handy, The Least Expected, James Matisse, Azur Rain, Nicholas Absher, Zachary McKinley, Critias, 